to you today about the photographs that we call hive life photos. So these are pictures that we've taken inside beehives and we've tried to capture everything you can see inside a beehive. They're printed on paper, double-sided and then laminated and glued into the frames. We sell these pictures either framed like this or just the image itself that beekeepers can put in their own frames. At the end of this video, we're going to show you how to install them in your frames. Uh, this set is the set of four, so it's suitable for carrying around in a nucleus box. Let's say, for example, you want to go talk to kindergarten class and show them what bees are like. Four frames is really all you need in that situation, and it shows most of what's going on. Uh, they're also really handy if you have an observation hive but don't have bees in it. You can park these in there for a dormant observation hive. You can hang them up on the wall, uh, and they're useful at, at sales venues for being able to explain to people a little bit about how you take care of your bees and produce the fine crops that, that bees produce. So let's move on to uh, a set of 10 of what we're calling our normal frames. So this set of 10 includes the four you see here but also things like a beautiful frame of pollen, like that, and a frame where we've done one close-up here showing eggs, since those are kind of hard to see. And most of this set of normal doesn't have the insets in it like that. We want it to look as natural as possible, but we did include the eggs there. We've even got a picture showing what foundation looks like, so uh, beekeepers can explain to others how bees build comb in a, in a modern beehive. Now let's move on to our abnormal pictures here. So this abnormal set includes diseases, parasites, and unusual situations that you'll see inside the hive. So right here we have a picture of American fowl brood, a very contagious disease. It's really important that all beekeepers know what this looks like. And having these done at life size allows beekeepers to see this as they would inside their own beehive. Uh, another dis disease that bees get is sac brood. And so you can see uh, what that looks like here and compare that to American fowl brood. There's some similarities, but by being able to compare them, you can learn the difference. We go on to have other pictures like what a, bee, a robbed out beehive looks like. This is a hive that died. Bees got in and ripped and tore at the comb to access honey in there. But we've got spotty brood pattern and many other situations, including swarming and supersedure. So these are very useful sets for beekeepers to have for their own personal use, but also for clubs to have uh, to be able to loan out to other beekeepers. And for people that teach beekeeping courses, uh, you can have everything you're going to be able to see uh, in a kit that you can carry around from place to place. Coming right up, we're going to show you how to put the pictures into frames. Thanks for watching. Okay. A few quick instructions on how to assemble the Hive Life pictures into the frames. We just use standard deep wooden frames for this purpose. Ideally, they have a groove in the top and a groove in the bottom. You can use the wedge type frames as well, but our instructions will show you how to do this with grooves top and bottom. Okay, so we just assemble the frame like you normally would, nail it, glue it, whatever you like to do there. Uh, then we test fit the picture in here. We want to make sure that it's going to fit in place. If there happens to be a nail sticking out or a chunk of wood in place and it doesn't fit properly, you don't want to find out about that after you get glue in place. So this one looks quite good. You'll note that we've got our logo down at the bottom here. That uh, gives you an idea of the orientation of the picture. Uh, it's really important that you put the, the, the picture in the correct orientation. So now we know that fits, we can pop it out. It's very much like working with uh, plastic foundation in frames. So now I'll run a bead of hot glue into the bottom groove here. And you 
run a nice generous bead of glue in there being careful to not get it outside of the groove so we filled it up there now very quickly to get the pitcher in place so it's in that bottom groove we also need it in the top groove so that it's sitting nice and plump. And now I'm pulling on the corners of the picture and pushing down. So pulling out and pushing down to make that picture nice and taut as the glue sets for about 30 seconds. Once that's done, we then pop the picture out at the top, exposing the groove here and keeping the picture out of the way we do the same thing and fill the groove with hot glue and then very quickly again pop the picture into place pull it down to the bottom and out to the sides to keep it taut for about 30 seconds that's it